Intensity Pro, Intensity Pro 4K, two cards, one comp. That'll be a nasty one. What's up, YouTube? What's up, stream? It's PB Solidus 2 bringing you guys the long awaited Intensity Pro, Intensity Pro 4K review from Black Magic Design. Man, so sorry, everybody. I shocked my computer. I burnt out my uh, previous motherboard and the streaming PC. So the video had to get put on hold until I got that up and running. If you guys caught the stream, I hope you did. I built it back. Um, new motherboard, put the water cooler on it from the air cooler. It was, it was pretty fun. So. That being said, what are these cards? These both are um, recording and streaming devices created by Blackmagic Design. I guess not for streaming, more so for video recording and editing. They're tools, a uh, piece of hardware that you put into your, their internal cards, they go into your motherboard, both in the PCIe uh, lanes. The Tizzy Pro 4K goes into the longer 16 bit, uh, 16 pin lane, and the Pro goes into the shorter eight, eight pin lane. So a little bit of internal motherboard use. You guys will see what I'm talking about later in the video. I'll get to that. Um, inputs, they both take HDMI in and they push HDMI out. They have a breakout cable that has everything from composite, uh, I'm sorry, from component. Yeah, composite all the way to S video. So you'll get composite S video and component. They also have red and, red and white for audios. I think that's audios, yeah. So it's, it's very, very, um, all-in-one type of video capturing device uh, prices I got the pro K for about 189 on Amazon I'll have that link on the bottom below and I got the pro for about 150 and this was like I said like six and a half years ago both very expensive no actually I got the pro for 200 back in the day it was so expensive that's right because I had this old nasty ass Roxio but I digress I do apologize they um the pro goes like I said all the way from NTSC which is 480p all the way up to 1080p at 30 frames whereas the Pro 4K goes a little bit beyond that where it goes up to 2160p which is 4K resolution at 30 frames so it catches NTSC all the way up to 4K at 30 frames so the range of it, it catches a lot of different video uh, inputs so it's very very versatile and I need that for my computer since I'm running 1440p out of the GTX 1070 and I'm playing in 2K resolution so you guys will see what came in the boxes and the content, um, but for the most part, this is a very hands-off experience from Blackmagic Design, so you definitely need to know what you're doing before you get into it. So I hope this helps. All right, we're gonna skip over the Pro since the 4K has everything in it, plus a little bit more, I guess. So in the Pro 4K, we get the breakout cable, which covers all the composite component connectors and audio in and out, which is awesome, and it all plugs into that one I guess VGA-esque connector. Then they also give us two booklets, both holding beautiful, oh, drop that one. Both holding beautiful, beautiful SD cards. Black Magic. thank you guys. Thank you guys so much, Black Magic Design. Listening, understanding, nobody wants to play with CDs no more. Give us those. And that's the DaVinci Resolve. That's their um, editing suite they use. Has really, really good good things I, above, above my head. So I will start learning that one to make some pretty cool videos. And here we have the Blackmagic Design uh, software suite, which comes with Media Express, Disk Speed Test, um, their Magic Live Key, so on and so forth, and things like that, just to do basic analysis on your hardware. Yep. So in this video later, you'll start seeing me fiddle with uh, the installation. If you have any questions or concerns about that, definitely let me know in the bottom in the comments down below. Uh, installation is pretty straightforward. The, like I said, the 4K goes into the PCIe Express, uh, which normally your graphics card, or if you have a you know multi GPU slotted motherboard, and Black Intensity Pro goes into the eight slot PCIe Express. Uh, PCI Express, so um, that covers that. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much. But before you go, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, hit the sub button that's over, shoot. 
hit the sub button wherever it is you guys know what i'm trying to say make sure you guys comment down below i'll also have the links to both the pro and pro 4k black magic uh, intensity cards so if you guys are interested in purchasing them and uh, definitely be on the lookout for the next video where we'll be doing more of a tutorial on how to use both pieces of hardware for your console or your pc however whichever you do it make sure you guys follow us on our facebook our twitter our instagram all of our social medias i mean without without you guys we're nothing make sure you just share the love if this video helped you or you're interested in buying the card hope i gave you good understanding of what you're getting but personally i've been using the card for about six seven years where yeah it's 2016 i've had the black magic intensity pro for about six and a half years going on seven by the end of this year and it's been working perfectly fine 720 console streaming so on that note everybody thank you all for watching and i'll catch you all in the next video Psalms 2 out.